Hi y'all, welcome back to my shop for another, another wood turning uh, tip of the week. Uh, this is a follow up <clears throat> on a video, uh, a three part video playlist I did on making small round tools at the lathe. Uh, that, was, that was last year. And since then I found that it's, it's a bit of a challenge to find that, that metal. In, in, that, in that video series I made a, a variety of tools. Uh, point tool, a cove tool, a vortex tool, a captive uh, ring tool, a miniature uh, uh, skew, and also showed how to make handles including a removable handle in case you did a point on, on each end. At the end of this video I'll have a link to that playlist on making those, those round lathe tools including the handles. I used to make those tools out of this one quarter inch by eight inch high speed steel rod that I used to get from Inco and it's very inexpensive they're about three dollars and you could actually put a, a tool on each each end if you had it in a, a handle that was that was removable. Uh, the problem is Enco, and I gave you that source in the video, uh, has been bought out by MSC Direct. Uh, it's mscdirect.com is where you can go to find it, and they almost doubled the price of these tools. So I started looking around for a less expensive alternative, and I found the eight inch quarter inch uh, size uh, somewhat difficult to, to find and expensive when you do find it but I found an inexpensive alternative I want to share with you and that's this seven millimeter by a hundred millimeter which is actually a, a bit cheaper uh, I mean it's considerably cheaper but it's it's actually just a uh, a shade bit larger diameter than the quarter inch which makes it useful and it turns out because the eight inch was really a little bit long these are about four inches these are plenty long enough to embed in a in a, in a handle. Here's one with with that uh, eight inch rod and it goes down into this PVC handle. Uh, it only needs to go down about an inch or inch and a quarter and because the way you're using these you're normally only extending over the tool rest a short distance. So these are plenty long enough. You can buy them in lots uh, off eBay, ordering them from China in lots of five or ten or twenty. Uh, I bought this I bought this package of 20 of them because I've got a, a upcoming workshop at my uh, Chattahoochee Wood Turners where we're going to make some of these these tools and it uh, they're only about a little little more than a dollar a piece when you buy them in quantities of 20. Uh, you get them in quantities of about five and they might be uh, two dollars a piece and yeah you got to wait almost a, a month to get them but this is a great great bargain. Okay, I know some of y'all are going to want to comment that you've made these out of drill rod. That's fine. Uh, drill rod doesn't work for me because you, it's not hardened and you've got to go to the trouble of hardening it. I'd rather, I'd prefer M2 high speed steel where all I have to do is, is uh, uh, sharpen it. And it makes a very, very hard tool, harder than, probably than you're going to get out of at a drill rod. And for me, a, a little bit simpler. And it costs a, a bit more, but not, not a significant amount when you can get it at, in these uh, seven millimeter by 100 millimeter uh, lengths. But drill rod works for some people and it may work for you. On a recent video uh, showing this little piggy, Jim uh, Rob, a viewer from Scotland, reminded me of his little cove tool, which uh, I showed in a video on small round lathe, lathe tools. I'll have a link to that playlist on that at the end. But how this tool works really good for these tiny little coves where it might be difficult to get in otherwise. This is in grain, so this works very well for this. I do use this little cove tool uh, quite a bit, especially when using this uh, Dremel texturing tool, as I show in this uh, in this little little clip, uh, to make a little cove for the uh, burr to uh, roll in in smoothly. Speaking of that little Dremel burr texturing tool, let me show you a picture of one John Carroll had made. Very nice, nice job, John. Thanks for sharing.